continuing our fence project today. But first, before we put posts or anything, we need to clear out the fence. supposed to get more rain today and the next two days so we need to work on this fence hopefully we can beat the rain <laughs> Hobbit pigs, come on. I have my deadline of finishing this high tunnel. One more month, I need to finish it, hopefully. Well, it depends if it warms up or not. Uh, so that way we can stretch the plastic better. Um, also finish this inner part of fencing we have a month left because in a month is when we have our first broiler meat chickens arrive and when that happens everything else seems to follow that hey pigs hey pigs <laughs> As you can see, they're so gentle on the land. They've been here like a month in this area, a month in this area. Next on this fencing build is we need to clear out this area, which is about 400 feet long. And this is the beginning of starting to work our way up the property. The good news is that it's mainly high grasses I've already started taking down. This is a cedar tree that was growing into it. Definitely deer come through here. Uh, there's some deer trails that come all through here. For today, we're just gonna stop where this gate's at. This gate's go, has ac I have access to in the woods that's over here. But first, we need to take out this devil bush. That's what I'm calling it. pretty much a mosh pit of brambles, spiky things, and random trees, weeds, all in one giant mess. And it's the only thing that's holding up this corral. Yeah, this is the worst bush ever. All the thing to do is chip away at it. Keep cutting away at it, eventually it'll all get down. This side of the property is probably the worst side, but it's not even that bad. And the overgrowth, as you continue to go up, it's even less as bad. So that's the good thing. Also, we're not putting in as many wood posts, so hopefully we can use our gas-powered T-post pounder and we'll make things a lot faster. All right, guys, I have help today. My friend Brian's here. Hey. On a Saturday morning. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> so we are, uh, so now we're just winding it up. We put it off the, off the wooden poles and then because this stuff is gonna get in my way, it might get tangled in my mower and uh, It'd just be better if it wasn't here. So we're gonna wind this up anyways. Might as well do it now. We hit a roadblock. We had to cut the wires. Try to keep the long the wires long, but this tree kind of grew into it. Z 
zip tight so we won't get tangled. Now I know there's things you could buy to help you wind this up, like a spinning jenny, but we don't have that. So that's why we're doing it by hand and zip ties. Come on. It's such a warm day today too. Like 65 degrees. That took a little bit to wind up, and now we have space and room to get this bush hog going. This bush hog man, DR mower, DR power, uh, works pretty good. It's, it's little, but it's a beast. Yeah, buddy. Now we're, we made it to that end. Now we're making another pass out this way. You good? Yeah. All right. Brian's uh, chopping down the big stuff with the chainsaw. We're really just making sure there's no big stuff this way because when I start rolling out that fence, you know, it's gonna make it a lot, a lot nicer if nothing's in my way. I like this stuff right here, do you want? See, it's going away or? Yeah, all this, all this is going. All, 
All those trees? Yep. All in here. I mean, heck, if you want to. You could take out this and this. Like two? Yeah. Sure. I mean, heck. <laughs> this, 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 and that. This is where I want to put the corner. Wow. Look at that. Huge shout out to my friend Brian for coming out and helping me out, man. Thank you. Wasn't that bad. That bush hog, man, put a, put a work to it, so that helps. Uh, so next is, well, next is I need to go buy some more material. We need to take these insulators off. Uh, I'm thinking I'll bring my my zero turn mower in here to knock this down even further. And it'll be real quick. Uh, we need to add an H brace here. I'm starting to feel some drizzle and then right around here is where I need to do a corner two H braces so one two three four four I need to dig four holes and put in four wood posts plus a mess of T-posts. But I think we just beat the rain and I hear my coonies screaming at me. Thank you guys for being here today and helping me out with this fence. I appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, the family's out, the cleanup crew. We're trying to chop down this huge tangle of a mess to kind of get it out of the way and until we figure out what to do with it. <laughs>